Hi, my name is Harry Gerard Stevenson and this is my vlog for entrepreneurial marketing. I hope you enjoy it. It can simply be defined as the behaviour exhibited by an individual or organisation which adopts a philosophy of challenging established market conventions during the process of developing new solutions. However, personally, I would define it as having vision through creativity by challenging pre-existing ideas, products or services, or even helping to solve new to the world problems through the use of radical innovation. An example of a global multinational company which has been based and founded upon entrepreneurial traits and marketing is Dyson and here is why. Dyson is a British technology company founded by of course James Dyson in 1993. It now sells its machines in over 70 countries employing over 4,000 people worldwide. Sir so James Dyson himself is a huge innovator and problem solver by looking for ways to develop and create ideas and therefore making them into a reality to enhance people's lives, whether it's through convenience to save time or stress, right through to hygiene and medical purposes. And here are some of their most innovative products that stand out to me. I think Dyson are very clever and make it very clear with their use of digital and entrepreneurial marketing. Through their use of advertising, whether broadcasted or used online on social media platforms, they use this as a platform to showcase their new, sophisticated and innovative products. By literally dissecting their products apart to prove their capabilities and functionalities. This helps to show the consumers why they should buy them and helps reduce any risk involved in the purchasing decision. This helps to also differentiate themselves from other competitors such as Karcher, Miele and Vax to name a few. Dyson take product development very seriously to strive for new and innovative thinking to help revolutionise their industry. Hence while they are the market leader operating a market of a value of 452 million just for vacuum cleaners alone. But most importantly, the huge investment that has gone into marketing and product development has allowed Sir James Dyson to create a brand perception of a premium product of a high quality that stands out and is recognised globally, even when taking the labelling away. One of the ways is by creating a consumer tribe and here is how. It could be created online to help bring new or existing customers together from techies right through to the skeptics. Over time it could create a growing Dyson community where people can talk and share all things Dyson. Dyson could also host conventions for these tribes to help build relationships with their customers and improve loyalty by potentially offering tours of their product development centres. Dyson are moderate when it comes to their digital entrepreneurial capabilities due to the physical form of their products and distribution. They could change this by using visionary methods to jump over from the moderate category to the extreme by launching a new range of apps that would reach out to new target audiences such as a downloadable game which could also advertise their products. Virtual reality could be a big and exciting prospect for Dyson, whereby consumers can try and test their product range in a virtual environment. Dyson could then roll this out in their main retail outlets, such as John Lewis. Thank you for watching.